Hello folks, uh, Chris here again, just to give you a little review on a knife that I've actually had for a long time, we're talking about almost a year now, or maybe just a few months off, it's the Anglo Arms, uh, it's just, I think the light's a bit too bright, Anglo Arms, if you can make that out, I'm using my phone, uh, if I can get enough likes and subscribes, I'll start doing this actually properly because I do work and earn enough money to buy plenty of knives. So, even good ones, uh, I'm thinking of getting a uh, with um, Smith and Western. Um, they are over 100, the ones I've been looking at, but they're pocket knives. And yep, you'll like them. Anyway, back onto this one. <clears throat> this is a, a five pounds, a fiver. No, give or take a fiver. Now, let's zoom out a little bit here. Is that, you got power cord there, I would say all in all about two feet worth, um, a foot to two feet, something like that. <clears throat> it comes with serrations on the top other side of the blade, the non sharpened bit. The serrations I would say are, well I, I, I mean, look just like, like, I'm leaning quite hard on my finger there and as you can see there's not yeah, exactly. As, as, you know, the, the, yeah. Uh, I don't even think you can sharpen them because I've tried to. In, not very successfully, just put it that way. But anyway, onto the knife itself. I would have to say the camouflage is actually quite nice. Yeah, I would say it's not too bad. Uh, I've seen a lot worse on Deer and Knife. So, for a fiver, you get what you pay for. Yeah. Now, I would also say when it comes, it came out of the box, I can't remember how sharp it was. I do remember using. Um, a cracking sharpener on it to bring out a really good razor edge. Don't get me wrong, these type of knives don't hold an edge for too long. Remember this. So, yeah, they don't hold the edge too well. But I would definitely say after sharpened, yeah, yeah it's, it's definitely, I mean, any metal is. I don't know if it's 420 or 440 uh, stainless steel. Um, Probably a description for a bit of my board my back and to look. Also, I would say piercing ability um, is highly good. Yeah, I'd definitely rate that about a 4 out of 5. Maybe even, yeah, about a 4 out of 5. It's um, quite a good point on it, actually. Um, obviously, I mean, as soon as you go to put it into anything, you've got this to contend with, the ridges being at the top. There is one that comes with no ridges, uh, no serration, sorry, ridges, what am I talking about? Ridges, um, serrations, um, but I got this one off my missus uh, about a year and a bit ago for my birthday. It was one of the birthday gifts amongst a few others um, knives that I got. Um, but yeah, um, I would say it's okay. Yeah, quite good. And glams, I would definitely say they low budget knives that you could use in a practical sense. Uh, one other thing though, uh, and I've looked at a few videos that haven't actually brought this into attention. This little bit here that you see me touch from my thumb, um, you got to hold the knife, right? You can hold it here, but I've got quite big hands. I mean, I feel more comfortable holding it here, but that's quite close to the actual blade, right? So if I go to hold it under here, this bit here that you see next to my index finger actually pushes, digs into your finger quite a bit. But if you actually take a whack at something, if you actually take a whack at something, so that's my cats um, trying to kill each other. Well, my missus' cats. I'm really, I'm more of a dog guy. Um, that could actually cause damage if you were to hit yourself hard enough. I wouldn't say break the finger or anything daft like that, but maybe even cut. And all you zombie apocalypse fans out there, you know, um, don't want to cut yourself just in case you get the blood inside you and turn into a zombie and all that rubbish. But people in the real world, yeah, definitely not a good thing. They should have that either machine better where it's more rounded off um yeah but oh no i guess it's not the worst thing in the world you could if you've got small hands and i have and i'm quite a big guy anyway so I've got quite big hands but uh yeah definitely decent knife as you can see some of the camouflage has came off mate i have been putting this through quite i mean i've been putting it through if i'm being honest with you i've got a fire door um that i've replaced the old one I use to test the penetration of each knife. That's been put in there quite a few times. That's only a couple of scrapes, so that's not too bad a paint job. 
Uh, now on to the Nylon Sheaf, the way this video will only be a couple of seconds longer. It is Velcro. Um, I think it's maybe nylon. I say think because, but watch this. Right, this is a knife. And it just pulled a hole through it. Yeah, not good. Um, this is a belt. So, um, belt loop. I would say you would struggle to get. You could probably get a normal <laughs> dress trouser belt through there, which is quite skinny. Um, I can get my mingo, uh, my mingo, my <laughs> middle, and um, finger through there. Um, yeah, it's 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 about what three inches, maybe just below wide. Uh, but yeah, pretty cheap. The knife would definitely at some point stab through you. It is better than the other version of this, which is actually slightly cheaper, I believe, or maybe about the same price. It's just a plain one. This is slightly better. I would definitely say this knife is slightly better, and I think it's only about a pound either. The sheath is actually slightly better than that, again, even though I'd still say this is... I mean, look at it, I mean, seriously. I'll show you a wee bit. That was me just running the blade across it. As you can see, it's got a slight slit in it. Not very clever. So anyway, uh... Like and subscribe if you could be bothered for me, please. Uh, I'd like to actually make a wee, wee go at this, even if I've only got like two followers. I think I've got one person actually that follows my videos, which is nice of you, pal. Appreciate it. <laughs> uh, tomorrow I will be doing a review on the uh, Lansky's Sharpener's Aveda, um, serrated. And uh, I'll put it for my wee test, use it on my, my, my spare fire door. I don't put holes in doors that I need. Um, and we'll, we'll see, we'll talk to you soon, right, bye.